All right, you little crypto bastards, we are back. It is July 8th. I've been gone for five days. I needed to get out of town and have some fun, and now I'm back. I turned on one CPU rig. Since I shut them all down while I'm gone, since I didn't want to fry the house and overheat it, so I came back and went back to nice hash. Fired up one of my Ryzen 9 3900Xs. If I click on it, you will see right there. 12 core processor. I have not modified any of the uh, memory or motherboard settings on this thing. It's running stock. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to fry it in case I want to resell it. So anyway, this is what I'm getting right now. It's showing on the uh, nice hash dashboard about 70 cents uh, for 24 hour profitability. This is what I currently have a big whopping $19.28. With today's inflation, that's about $10. Uh, yeah, not, not too happy. But again, it's Bitcoin. I'll just keep it in Bitcoin. It's all for fun. But anyway, this is where I'm at. Oh, now it actually updated. So it's showing $0.44 cents for this one CPU rig running. Let me go over to the actual rig. And oh, it's close. So it's showing 51 cent. If you look up here on the upper left, this is the actual rig. Windows is running it with the Ryzen CPU. No big deal. Easy button. Uh, 51 cents. So this fluctuate. It's kind of close to what's on the dashboard. But again, it's different reporting times. So it gives you a ballpark. So it used to be at almost a buck last week. So definitely CPU. Profitability mining on Nice has just dropped a little bit, maybe by half, maybe not, maybe 40%, around there. Uh, I'll let this run a little bit, see if it goes up, but that's where I'm at, and I am running. I am running, what am I doing here? I'm running XM rig. There's my device. Let's see if I can look at my benchmark. I did click benchmark. Here we go, and I'll just ex expand that, and it's about 10.365 kilohash per second. I'm sure I can get that up there if I tweak some settings, but is the juice really worth the squeeze? Am I going to burn out the CPU or just make it work harder for just pennies? I don't know if it's worth it. I'll try it one day, but not right now. Today is not the day. Today is just to let it run default mode just for the uh, just for the average working man. If they have a CPU they want to run, they just can hit the button, download the um, the old I forget what it's called, nice hash miner, and just run without having to know all the crap about AMD. Uh, Ryzen master settings or you're getting into your bios and messing with all the RAM and all that crap There's no need to worry about that. This is just for fun. You can get up and run real quick With a decent CPU again. This is the Ryzen 9 3900 X 12 core processor I think I purchased it for a couple hundred bucks at the time while everybody was crazy about GPUs Which um, I'm no longer crazy about GPUs due to the electricity cost and the massive amount of heat they generate so I'm off that kick, and I'm just playing around with the CPUs for now, just to make pennies, just for fun. All right, let's go back to the, uh, the uh, nice hash dashboard. Do, 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 do. All right, I saw this optimize thing. When you go through this, you can actually mess with these settings. You know, you can find all your rig details, all this stuff. Ooh, get notified when rig is offline. Get notified of a, of a uh, error. You can transfer the ownership. You can shut down the rig, restart, and it does work. You can actually go and stop the miner remotely from the dashboard. So that's kind of nice. And if you have it on your phone running as an app, that's kind of nice. If you are, oh my God, I went out of town and let all my rigs running. You can go into the app on NiceHash app on your phone and uh, remotely shut it all down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or see how it's running if you, if you just want to leave things up and running, making you pennies on the day. I uh, can do rig details as well. So there you go, all that cool information on Nice Ash. Uh, I don't know what bundle manager. I'm going to click optimize. Watch this. Watch me. I'm, we're doing something together, folks. If if this is going to trigger you, go to your safe space now. I'm going to hit optimize. Three, two, one, optimize. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, it's going to do optimize. You can optimize your devices to get most out of it. You can create optimization profiles based on device, algorithm, and miners. All algorithms. Ooh, look at that. There's all the algorithms. There's all the miners. 
All right, what if I select that? That's the one I'm using. And Monero is the algorithm, which is this one for CPU mining. Let's select that. All right. It's not really let me do anything else other than select those. All right, so I optimize. Woohoo! I want to see if it kept those settings. I go back. Oh, it does. Okay. You can optimize. What's bundle manager? Ah! Oh, there's a lot to play with on this thing. I'm going to go back to mining. There's my mining page. All right, I mean, it kept the settings. I probably have to stop and restart the thing. Uh, I don't know what it's going to do. Let's go ahead and stop. Blammo. So I can hit it from the dashboard. And if you go over to the actual CPU, blammo, it stopped. Look at that, 10.365. Let's keep it there. Got my devices stopped. So remote works on the stop. Let's remotely start it up and let's see if the optimize works. Ah, it didn't keep it. That makes me upset. All right, let's go back down. I don't know what I'm doing. I should read the manual. But as an engineer, I never read the manual until I get frustrated. All right, I kept that. And optimize. I'm just curious. Let's go back in. All right, you see it right there. I kept it, right? Let's go over here. This thing is still trying to stop it. Let's see if it updates. Two, one, update. Blammo. So we're all good to go. Optimize. Yes, it's still there. Let's remotely start that rig. Start mining. Let's see if it goes up. All right, it's starting. I'm going to go back over to the rig. Oh, it's going to ask me because I run it as admin. Let you get the bigger pages if you run your XM rig as admin. So it gives you a few more little hashy rates, hashy bits per second if you do that. And I'm looking for the actual message that says that. Huge pages right here. So if you uh, enable XM rig to run as admin, you will get the huge page memory. And it'll actually increase performance for you as you mine. That's about as far as I get it. Okay, let's go. Let's move this out of the way. Do, 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 do. Seven minutes in the video. Too long already. Sorry. All right, we are mining. And the hash rate's about the same. Let's bounce around here once. Let's go back to devices. Oh, it's not showing anything. Oh, the stash it. So we're about 51 cents a day okay let's let this run for a second all right so the actual cpu rig is showing cpu uh, bleh, 51 cents per day let's go to the dashboard showing 70. i'm gonna refresh this once watch it's the, the auto refresh has stopped for some reason i don't know why but let me just do this real quick all right it's showing 70 cents. And it loses, it doesn't keep that setting. So I don't know what I'm doing with this optimize. Maybe I'll read the manual. <laughs> anyway, we're just playing here. Oh, uh, what do I got? Six cents unpaid. I'm, it's saying 70 cents. I'm going to check again. I'm going to meet a bore you here. 51 cents. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here. I'm going to see if anything came through on the settings. Permission granted. 16 gigabyte page. One gigabyte page is unavailable. Okay, I have to look at what that is. All right, register, all this stuff is good. All right, all right, well, anyway, there we are. 51 cents showing here, dashboard is 70 cents. So, in a nutshell, having wasted nine minutes of your time from last week before I went away for five days on a vacation, a vacation I came back, <clears throat> I was getting it's getting higher. I mean, even though this dashboard now has gone up to 70, it was close to like 80 or 90 cents on some of these rigs, somewhere about a buck. These Ryzen 9 3900 X's, it fluctuates, but it looks like it is down a bit uh, since last week. I'm going to check one more time. Yeah, 51, 51. So it's holding. They're close, close to the same number in reporting. So I think it's dropped a little bit. I don't want to fire the rest up and waste electricity and heat up my house. Uh, I got well, one, two, three, four, five. I got six Ryzen rigs I'm running when I do want to run, but 
I don't know. It's just for fun. I like to maybe get up to 50 bucks in Bitcoin and just uh, move it over to my wallet and just let that quadruple as Bitcoin keeps going up. All right, that's all I got. Quick little update on CPU mining with NiceHash with one rig about a week later. Uh, it's holding, but not as much as it was when uh, people were saying get back in CPU mining. So uh, you can make money, but you got to look at your energy cost, uh, heating up your house, and just your time. Is your time worth making 52 cents a day <laughs> passively? And that's before electricity and all that stuff. All right, guys, that's all I got. Hey, keep keep uh, looking out for stuff. Do your own research on this crap. I don't know what's going on with some of these ETFs and BlackRock. I'm trying to figure that it's out uh, that out. And uh, I know Fidelity is now getting into the um, crypto. You can purchase the basic crypto coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, stuff like that, which is interesting. So players are getting involved. The big players moving slow, but they're getting involved. Maybe for a reason. Otherwise, they would not waste resources. So keep an eye on. Uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, uh, crypto stuff. I don't know if Fidelity is going to do an ETF. I know BlackRock is trying, which is interesting because a couple years ago they said it was a big, uh, crypto was a big laundering scheme and now they're all in it. So eh, makes you wonder, right? Anyway, go forth, do great things. And if you're making money mining, let me know. I don't know. Sometimes it may be just to buy the coin and hold it. Yeah. Who knows? All right, I'm out. Go forth. Do great things. I'll talk to y'all later. Stop recording, guys. Stop and hit the stop button now. Go outside. Take your shoes off. Walk in the grass. All right.